Hello there, and welcome back to my blind let's play of... Well, it took a while to load. <laughs> I actually pressed it in time there, it's just the game took a while to load. Alone in the dark, voice speechy thing. Right, <laughs> this is part nine, it's on the Dreamcast. And we're apparently we're in the Abcanist Cave. Oh, that sounds interesting. So... Let's jump straight back into it, shall we? Let's not diddle-daddle around and go and kill darkness. I have no idea what these things are actually, you know. Aline? Oh, I see we've both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We've got to hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. Yeah, I think I can. The gate is now before thee. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. These must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's got to be Hecaton Kyrus, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up. Okay, hello, you're coming with... I wonder if I can shoot it with a rocket thing. Wee! You can! Doesn't do anything. <laughs> She's built like a brick house. Right then. I love how she was caressing the uh, the stone tablet there. So this is, I remember meeting up here. So so I tell you what, I really appreciate this game for doing that. Um, Resident Evil like one and two, you basically go the exact same rooms. It's pretty much the exact same game, whoever character you play as. But I appreciate with this game that um, they two have very different diverging stories, and you see new areas in each in each with each character. Um, and I really like that. It doesn't feel like they've just wasted the disk space. They've actually thought about it. It's just one of those let think let downs from, like, say, Resident Evil 2. Where it's pretty much the same game, whichever character you play, and even in the B scenario. Um, so, anyway, I, mean, I think we might have another cutscene. Oh, no, I thought we might have done. I'm, I'm sure we had a cutscene as Thingy Majig. Ooh, that's a snazzy bridge, isn't it? Let's have a look around first. Make sure there's no charms of savings to pick up, because there usually is. Right then, across the cool-looking and creepy bridge. There we go. Anything here? Oh. Don't... Don't, uh... See anything. She's she's not doing anything. Alright, I guess we go and look at this door thing. Alright, okay. I thought that was a door, not a cave. Oh, this is look at the artwork on this. I mean this is really, really well done. This looks absolutely amazing. Like the graphics in this game, they did a stellar job on it. They really did. Like, no no joke, it, it is some of the best pre-rendered horror game stuff I've seen. It really is. I love it. I love it so much. 
Like all the different details on the on the on the wall. The lighting with this is fantastic. It really, really is. Do you want to open this trap door? No. Not really. I want to go this way. No. Okay, he's making us open the trap door. We have to open it. Well, why give us the option then if we have to open it? I, I, I've just praised the game, but I hate games that do that. Do you want to open this trap door? Well, I have to. So what's the point of giving me the option? Oh. No, take it back. I, I, I thank you ever so much for <laughs> making me actually open that thing. <laughs> you take the lightning gun. Oh, four first aid kits. You take the battery charger. You take five char- five- five charms of savings. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Hush my mouth. <laughs> Alright, you got anything to say? Wait, hold on, what about if we use the radio? No, okay, we don't need the radio right next to each other. Okay. I'm begging you, Alan. You have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Eden Shaw. For years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day, or the night, actually. You're shaking, yet you're like all the others, fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons, and that is what killed him. I am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being, a being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain. A being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon my children shall rule the earth. And my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way! As for you, strangers, I know not what brought you here, but you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Bonadza ternas guru helie zair hecatonkires! I was expecting thee, warrior, for I knew thou would come tonight. Warrior, thou know not thy father nor mother, and thou were born on the very day my son passed away, wounded to death in his struggle against the world of darkness. I am Hecatonchirus, the god of the vivifying light, and I have chosen thee to lead the struggle on thy world.
From now on, thy battle is my battle. Through thy dreams I will teach thee. Tonight is to be your first challenge. Fail, and thy world shall disappear. Win, and it will be nothing but a reprieve. So shall be thy entire life. Let the light be thy guide. Vai thee thou, vai. Vai thou. Well, it looks like we're in alien world then. Um, really reminds me of the alien nests from the alien series. Also, I think that the evil actually did one because uh, in this game because we have social media. Aline? Oh, am I happy to hear your voice. Aline, I, I had a strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. That means you're on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Eden Shaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news. Well, at least they like their industrial music in this world of darkness. Right then. I remember this place being awful when I played it as Elaine, so <laughs> slightly worried. Um, oh, we had the lightning gun, and I remember the lightning gun is basically the super weapon of the game. So we'll just we'll actually go and uh, um, see it as well. Lightning gun, examine. A handgun made by Jeremy Morton, generating a series of electric arcs. Obviously, I need a sp specific dice for a specific device for power supply. And I think it's in is in our um, objects the power supply device. Oh no, it's not. Hush my mouth then. Right then. Yeah, yeah. See, see, we. Oh, there it is. Battery charger. See, look. Right. At the beginning of the game, hardly, hardly any ammo. Now, like, I've got everything. Like loads of pistol bullets. Not pistol bullets. Uh, rocket pistol bullets. I don't even don't even think I used the grenade. You know, I don't even fa think I found grenades. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, silly, silly. Yeah, this, I remember this thing. This thing's beautiful. And you find crystals, I believe. That's it. Oh. Okay. No, you don't. Yeah, we need this. We need definitely this gun out. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. There's a crystal. Not sure. Oh, there it is. I thought I saw another one. Right. Oh. Bloody hell, they're, they're coming in thick and fast, aren't they? You take a luminescent crystal, your battery is reloaded. Oh, another one. There we are. Oh, and another one. Okay. So, wait, hold on. How do I recharge the battery then? Do I need to go into the menu? Oh, wait, hold on. Reload. Okay, and then the back. The, it, it goes into the battery charger, not the actual gun itself. I get you. So might as well pick this. Okay. So I'm going to assume we've got a... Uh, boulders falling down from the sky or something? Okay. Oh, it's just basically keeping an eye out when these dog things come and just... Wow, you don't even actually have to aim. <laughs> you don't have to actually look at the things. You just have to, as long as you're holding the shoot down, the shooting button. Oh, never mind. I took too soon, I think. This gun is beautiful, isn't it? I wish they gave you this gun at the beginning. Okay, let's... Um... Oh, hello. There we go. Right. The only problem is you have to go into your menu to reload it, so you can uh, not waste these crystals. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I remember in the PlayStation version, these looked nicer, that they were, like, like glowing and also, like, see-through, but I think right. I might be wrong. Oh, I just remember this place being, like, really difficult.
Right, well that's how babies are born. Just wait for them to get close. There we go. I don't think they, I don't think they can walk down there. I think it's like a like an invisible wall there for them. Okay, let's have a little yonder. Now, do we have a map of, for this place? Or is it going to say no map? Oh, we do. Apparently, apparently he knows the world of darkness, all right? That's good. Um, just want to check down here. I really love the look of this, though. It's really nice. I mean, it is, like, definitely, um, uh, H.R. Geiger. It is H.R. Geiger, isn't it? Or Giga. Oh, come on, there we go. Um... We share, obviously, some of the weirdest and awesome art. It's actually quite difficult to aim at these because you're not because of the depth of perception. It seems like they, you need to be they need to be right up in your face before you can actually damage them. I really like this. I like like the weird abs on the walls. I'm just gonna ignore them. I think. Let's just leg it. I go down? Oh, do you know what? I should turn the bloody thing on. We torch. I remember. I do remember going through the walls in this place on the on the PlayStation version. So I'm I'm kind of checking the walls here to see if they've actually made them solid. Um. <laughs> oh, hello. There we go. I love this weapon. It's just so nice and satisfying to use. There we go. Um, let's uh, pick that up. Right, so we've got a, a way that way, but let's just walk down here and see what's down here first. Might be something like a goodies or something. Nope, nothing. Then what's the point of having that area? Just just more beauty. Oh, that's it. The the crystals respawn when you leave and um, re-enter an area. The crystals respawn. So you've basically got... Basically got unlimited weapon bit here. Very nice. Do 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 do. Very nice and oh what the I was where did he come from? Get off! Right, well maybe the weapon is not as good as I thought. Reload. Um, let's uh, get ourselves a uh, heal. We've got twelve of the things now. Yeah, don't don't. Yeah. Thank you. What's down here then? Ooh. Well, nothing. Do 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 do. Ooh. That's neat. Look at it. <laughs> you can't actually guess us because we're in this little hidey hole. There we go. This actually, this gun rivals the Taser from Silent, um, Silent Hill, from um, a Siphon Filter, because that thing was awesome to use in Siphon Filter. Yeah, I need, I need, I need another crystal. I'm running out of the stuff now. Hello. I see how it got me. Oh. Right, I, I've, 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 are they just like endlessly respawning here? It, it might be, it might be the case. Oh, the the capacity of the thing actually has more than one hundred percent charge. It looks like. What's down here? There is a pathway down there. We'll, we'll just ignore that for now. Let's just check the map actually. See if that's just does not a circle. Okay, there's a door down there. Uh, I'm just going to go down the door. I think. I think this is just here to be a maze. Right. I see the thing with the gun is when you're when you're attacking them, they 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 um they move to you. I can't actually remember this area, so I just remember not liking it. I remember it crashed on the PlayStation version after like an hour of gameplay. Um. Oh, I remember. I do remember this area. I think. No, oh, because I remember with Lane we had to do this like thing in like these huts or something. Oh, oh wow! You can like target with two characters at the same time. That's very nice. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just yondering around. Oh. 
And now, you die. Alan, no, don't! Aline? Carnby? Alan just tried to kill me. It wouldn't be the first time. Nor the last. I'm starting to believe in my guardian angel. Don't you think it's more like the gods of light? No doubt. No doubt at all. Okay. Okie dokie. Hey, That's what I wanted. Thank you. Hold on, let's just actually reload the gun and then do that. That might be a better idea. And then pick this thing. Right, I thought we were actually genuinely dead then. I thought, oh wow, that's a, that's, that's a great game over. Of, for no reason. <laughs> but then I went the wrong path. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there they are. They just appeared out of nowhere. What's down here? What's that thing? Uh, a book to read. Ten pages, so not too bad. I am nearly at the end. I no longer have the strength or energy to fight off their attacks. It's a miracle that I have got this far. Where, where's Deserto? What is he doing? I can't be afraid. Not now. Not on the final day of reckoning. But I am a Morton after all. And a Morton always faces his destiny alone. Oh, Richard. Oh, father. I hope I have not let you down. Of course, during the night in my restless dreams. I see that town. Silence Hill. Sorry. <laughs> I heard their screaming and saw once again that I probably made that joke if, if I had this book on the lanes playthrough. So apologize if I did that twice there. I heard their screaming and saw once again the fear gleaming in their eyes as we abandoned them to the creatures of the night. But we did it for the good of humanity. Did we not, father? I am a Morton. Already Jeremy, my dear son, is discovering his destiny, even if he has reservations and hesitations. I, Archibald Morton, was the first to cross the threshold. I alone have crossed into the world of darkness. I will die here, I am sure, but my glory will live on like the glory of our name. Not far from here I found an engraved steel. steel, lee, steel. Uh, here is the transviction. Our combat has only one possible outcome, the return of our mighty gods. Never believe, noble guardian, that you can vanquish the creatures of the night alone. Descent into the heart of their world, down to the mould of their creation, serves no purpose. It will only bring you a vain and inglorious death. The creatures ooze from their mould like blood from a wound, like water from its source. Their original form is sticky black liquid, foul and reeking of soot and sulphur impregnating every damp cavity that borders the lake of oblivion there little by little this cursed seed metaphor metaphor most into a hideous um creature of the night no man knows the force that reigns over the germination of these monstrosities only the gods of light know how to destroy them this is why all guardian your combat is infinite oh come creatures of the night come to me I am ready for your deadly embrace. I am ready to, to join you, to love you. Come to me. Come. Nice. Right. Lovely. There's a there's a gun here. Would you like to pick that up? That you're, the floating gun there? Well, it's floating. Uh, what bro? With a broken leg, he, he can't have held up for long. You pick up an object. Looks like it's a, a flask or something. You take the photoelectric pulsar. Noise. Let's have a look at that. Another weapon all of a sudden. I like this electric gun more though. Um, photoelectric pulsar. Examine. An energy weapon made by Jeremy Morton. It works by a series of mirrors. It is apparently very powerful. Obviously I need a specific device for power supply. So we'll just leave it there then. I'm not sure if you can reload it using the device that we already have. Let's... Let's just check the, um, sorry, the other item that we got, the, uh, flask. Metal flask. A metal flask that once belonged to Archibald Morton. There's four in it. So, that, is that more health? I genuinely don't know. But anyway, we, uh, might as well pick that up. And, uh, let's get, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? Dead end. Oh, back we go then. Huh. Did I only go the wrong way? Is there a multiple path of some sort? I'm back out here, but... How do I... 
Oh, right, there's a rope going down. Yeah, right, sorry. I'm glad I went that way first, blind me. Oh. Right, I don't know where this is. Let's just check the map. Have I been here before? The answer is... I don't think so. Let's go up this way. Wait, hold on. That I think that's the way to go. So we'll, we'll, we will go down just to make sure there is... Yeah, it's a dead end. Um, oh, that's disappeared, that. Right. Really like this electric gun. It's bloody awesome. Just makes all these enemies just seem... rubbish. You know? Oh! There we go. That should turn around. Oh, I don't like the sound of that Dreamcast making that noise. Arrgh. Alan, no, wait! Oh, damn. No, we're just going to stand around there and watch him actually run away. Yeah, that's a good idea. What's here? A charm? Another charm of bloody saving. What's the, how many of I, how many charms of savings do I have? I'm genuinely curious. Eleven. 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 I'm going to say that one number one more time just in case you didn't hear it. Eleven. <laughs> right. I will actually um, use a heal. Why not? I don't like it when it gives me a charm of saving. It means like, you know, there's it might be the final boss coming up. Let's see. Let's go through here and see what happens. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to load then. Oh, the Dreamcast was making some awful noises. There's these um, spider things around here. I can hear them pitter, pitter pattering. Do, 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 do. Let's check the map. See, right, so we just, there's just a, a single path to the door. Oh, there you are. Alright then. You're not, are you actually going to shoot the thing, my friend? Thank you. Look at him go. He's like, it looks like he's having a seizure, old, old corned beef there. Oh, I see it. It's around the corner. There we are. <laughs> oh, and another one. There we go. So it's the, the energy plants, Mer. You know, they, they, I, I'm surprised the Mortons didn't get into, like, like weaponry. They'd have made a bloody killing. Right, I don't like the sound of this, um, this Dreamcast right now. So, I'm just going to do a, a save here. Just in case the Dreamcast crashes and I have to, like, reload. I had problems with this on the PlayStation version. Um, where... Uh, it would f crash quite a lot, but if the same thing is happening, so maybe it's just a, a, a kind of a glitch with the uh, the game. Yeah, it doesn't like these areas for some reason. But just in case it crashes, I'm just going to do a precautionary save there. Oh, let's actually reload. There we go. There we are. No, you don't. I do like how they just... I, I do like that they just keep respawning, but they give you a gun to actually deal with it. I appreciate that. There we go. Carry on going. Ooh. I love how the music's getting more and more ominous as we get further in. Oh, hello. Oh, I remember this place. I remember falling down here. Down that hole as a lean, and um, I had to do like a, a giant detour. If I had any time to spare, I'd congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. And it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Look. Look what you did to your brother. Oh, Ben? But. Ah! 
<laughs> that happened. Um, okay. I can't remember that. Did that happen in the lanes playthrough? Did she go, did she go, did she go down there? Well, that was weird. All of a sudden, just that was weird. I have no idea where we're going now, so we're gonna consult the map again. Uh, oh, that's just a. Uh, we just go around here as a circle. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um. Yeah. No. Nothing. I really like the look of this place. Right, so I guess we're going through here now. Oh, that dream... G it's not like in this area loading. There we go. Oh, no, that's the way I came in, isn't it? Right, well, let's go back. Uh, sorry the loading is a bit long. It's just... um. Well, I'm coming up to 30 minutes, so I, where, where, where do I... Oh, that, that door there. Well, I'm coming up to 30 minutes, so I'm thinking I might just do another save now and end the part here. Because I don't know how, how much of this have I got left, though. That's the thing. I really... I really I'll really, tell you what, we'll, we'll keep on going until we see a new type of area, maybe. Like, you know, if it changes... So remember, there was like a... The only way I can describe it, there was like a uh, area that that was like um, ancient aztec -y kind of buildings or something. Okay. Oh, I really don't like the sound of the stream cat. Oh, right. I wasn't going to kill you guys. Because, you know, I'm starting feeling mean here. That's not the button I want. But you've got, you left me no choice. Let's go and use another healing. Oh. The thing is, this disc is not scratched at all. It is literally perfect. Like, perfect. Guess we're climbing up here then. Ah! I think I remember this area. A bridge. Nice. Alright then. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to end it here. We're going to end the part here. Because the Dreamcast seems to be struggling at the moment. And I'm a bit... bit a bit worried it is going to crash because I know it crashed on the PlayStation version and I'm not having issues with the PlayStation version being a bit glitchy. So, anyway, let's do a save. I've got 10 of the bloody things, so we'll save over the slot I just did Tunnel B and we'll call that part nine. So, I'm going to assume the next part will be the final part of this uh playthrough of the Dreamcast version as uh Edward Carnby. So, I hope you've enjoyed this part and we'll join back. I'm pretty sure it's the final part in the, in the next episode. So, yeah, um, where we do more cave explorations and fighting most likely the final boss. So until then, uh, take care. Have a lovely day. Stay safe out there and uh, don't be scared of the dark. Bye for now.